Lowers and here's a rat seller. This is a rat seller. And I'm going to make this short. Um, I keep hearing talk about World War Three. I keep hearing talk about, uh, you know, they got, oh, Gen Z drafted into the military and stuff. And uh, if Gen Z doesn't do it, we might have to draft in millennials and other, other people. Well, uh, I'm going to be real with y'all. Um, technically, I'm too crazy to go into a military and too fat and too mentally destroyed. Uh, there you go. But let's just say if I wasn't fat, let's say if I wasn't that, um, I mean, let's get real. I'm not obeying anything this government say. Um, here's my stance on, on draft and serving your country and stuff, you know, Countries worth serving if they have provided everything that you needed when you needed it, right? And that, and America failed at that, okay? And I'm really, really salty over the Obama years. Very salty over that. Very salty over the Joe Biden years. Very salty. Very, very salty. And then y'all want to sit here and say that Trump's some bad guy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll serve if Trump were president. Maybe. Because he actually... You know, that little time that he had, I actually was able to get a job after um, the crazy, stupid years of Obama, where I had no work for the entire Obama administration. And like I said, I, I, I had to pull extreme measures. I, I had to move from Florida and to go to North Dakota just to get a basic job. OK, and then, like I said, now we got to deal with housing and stuff and then. I always whine about my brother didn't want to work and so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm homeless right now. Now, right now, I am in the process of, you know, paying off my creditors, you know, trying to get my credit score back in order so I can actually get back to normal. But I'm not, I'm not going to be serving a draft unless I'll, that's, yeah, that's the only condition. If Trump's president, only if Trump is president, that's when I'm, I, I'll, I'll get up and, you know, condition and, and all that stuff. That's the only way I'm going to do it. But other than that, I'm not going to do it. I'm not serving under no, no Kamal Harris or no Joe Biden. Nope, not going to do it. In fact, like I said, raise, raise my hand against them. I don't care. I don't care. Just like how I used to. Yeah, you know, I told you I fought my father twice. Why do you think I can't live with him? I can't live with him. Okay, because cause the third time I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a criminal record. That's why I can't be in that household. That's why. That's why I want my own house. You know? New beginning. Just, yeah, new beginning. Okay? No. And another thing. I'm really tired of these religions. I am really am tired of them. You know, the, the more I study them, the more angry I get. I'm like, how, how could a, a group of people, um, you know, blindly obey a book that's the source of all hate Malice, strife, racism. How could you obey a book like that? And then there's no proof that the God is even real. No proof. Okay. Okay. At best, he's an alien. At worst, he's fiction. There you go. So, yeah. Yeah, the best case scenario. But, yeah, and I always do it. I always do it. because I am suffering from religious trauma syndrome. I am suffering from it. You know, wasn't allowed to um, collect cards, wasn't allowed to have video games or action figures. It wasn't until I got older. Just, just, just wow. But that's my stance on, on like, the, like, the draft. The only way I serve if Trump's president. He ain't president, then I ain't serving. I don't care. And like I said, oh, we're going to throw you. Nope, just shoot me then. Because I'm not, I'm not dealing with, I'm not dealing with y'all. I don't want to deal with you. Okay? I don't even respect Kamala Harris. I don't respect Joe Biden either. All right, that's it for now. Up here's Ross Seller. This is Ross Seller. I want to thank y'all for listening, watching. I know I look like crap, <laughs> but um, I'm slowly getting out of this situation. All right, guys. Ross Seller signing out.